Hi men, James from the Men's Relationship Academy. I wanted to shoot another video about sex and I just wanted you to never make this mistake again whilst you're having sex with your partner and that mistake is becoming absorbed in your own arousal to the exclusion of your wife. Now it's been my personal experience and from what I see as well when I talk to men which is regularly uh, around their sex life is that they can use sex to help them feel better about themselves. Um, they can use that on many, many different levels. So they can use it to feel better about themselves physically, mentally, and also emotionally. So say for example, a man's going through a stressful time, uh, maybe at work, maybe financially. Um, there's probably a lot of anxiety and shame and issues with self-worth that come with that period uh, of not earning money. You know, we're the provider protectors. It's genetically what we're supposed to be able to do, right? Sometimes life isn't like that. And so I find men, uh, men's sex drive can very much increase around those times um, because they want, to f they want sex to help them feel better because they just don't like the feelings of anxiety, shame, low self-worth in their body. So they start pestering their wife more and more uh, with uh, their advances and their initiations of sex. They get frustrated when it doesn't come. Uh, they feel let down, they feel lonely, they feel rejected, and it starts a bit of a spiral. So, uh, you know, sex has the ability to touch us, uh, you know, on that level, personally. Certainly helps us make, you know, it can make us feel better. Um, but it can also obviously be an interpersonal uh, experience. Uh, we don't want to forget that as well, that there's another person there, because otherwise it does just become essentially like masturbation, right? You know, if you're just trying to pleasure yourself uh, and your wife will feel that. So I invite you, um, Here's your action step. Yeah, I invite you, the next time you have sex with your partner um, is to not ejaculate, okay? So make it about the journey rather than the destination. Because um, I know that that can be a pattern that we can build up in childhood through masturbating and it can become hardwired in our brain um, that we, you know, are just always aiming for that, you know, that release at the end, um, you know, the climax, the orgasm. Um, and we kind of forget about the journey or we just hurry through the journey. So. My invitation to you, because um, this will really help you not get lost in your own arousal and will just help you sort of really open things up with your wife and just help to really bring that interpersonal um, space online with sex, which is important, right? Um, your wife will feel it, she'll thank you for it, and there'll probably be a bit more trust there as well because we tend to go a little bit flaccid, <laughs> uh, not just in the... Um, not just in the genitals, but you know, with our whole sort of personality, we just become a bit flaccid when we ejaculate. And we go from being a lion to a bit of a lamb, which is not what our wives want. So just try it, see how you go. Stop before you ejaculate and don't get too lost in your own arousal.